Okay, so in this video, I'm going to do my best to actually cover a little bit about a subject that really is very, very mysterious and frustrating for a lot of people. Um, and part of the reason I'm going to try and cover it is because there are an awful lot of fakes out there on uh, the internet, especially on eBay. People have a hard time telling what the difference between an original wrapped roll is and a rewrapped roll or an original bank wrapped roll and uh, something that um, may be a fake bank wrapped roll. Um, believe it or not, there are those things out there. Um, the guy on uh, Copper Coins does a fantastic job of helping uh, point this out from time to time as well. Um, but I'm going to try and uh, just quickly go over a few things about original wrapped versus bank wrapped versus fake wrapped versus so on and so forth. So first thing to realize is in order for anything, any coin roll whatsoever to be considered an original bank wrapped roll, it must have two things. Number one, it must have the correct wrapping color for the denomination that it is. And two, it must have a bank name on the wrapping. Now, the only time this doesn't hold true is when the uh, a lot of the... Um, Brinks services and uh, things like that started wrapping coins in the 90s and even late 80s for that matter um, in uh, this type of a shrink wrapped roll. Um, this is a 95 roll of, uh, of coins that has been shrink wrapped and it is an original roll um, and not a rewrap. There's a variety of ways I can tell that, but um, there is no bank name on it, obviously, because they didn't print bank names on these from that standpoint. Um, but it, it still would not be considered a bank wrapped roll only because of the fact that it most likely was never wrapped by a bank. It was more likely wrapped by a um, coin service or a monetary service of some sort, whether it be, you know, Brinks or something along those lines. Uh, somebody that did uh, the coin counting and the distribution of coins and things like that uh, to uh, businesses or even to banks and stuff like that. So while this is an original wrapped roll, it is not an original bank wrapped roll. So um, to find an original bank wrapped roll, you actually have to go and dig uh, and see if you can find, see if I can find one here. Um, here's a good example. So this is, excuse me, a roll of 1958D. Um, it is an original bank wrapped roll. Uh, and I know this because it has the name of a bank right on the roll. Um, it is listed right there, uh, and it is an actual original roll. Now, interestingly enough, um, most uh, pennies slash cents should be wrapped in a red roll, uh, not necessarily in a craft paper roll, which is what this is, but there were a lot of um, banks and or institutions that opted to wrap coins in uh, especially pennies uh, and even some other denominations but mostly pennies in a craft paper roll. One of the other um, denominations that was used to wrap coins uh, in uh, craft paper are uh, 50 cent pieces uh, from that standpoint and in some cases even dollars were done in craft paper. Um, Example, nickels, nickel wraps were always done in blue. Um, dimes uh, were always done uh, in, uh, you know, a different color and so on and so forth. Um, the uh, whole concept of an original bank wrapped roll um, is very, very loosely used. One of the interesting things that uh, a lot of people fail to realize uh, is that um, if there's an old roll of coins like a 1960 or newer, or, you know, older, excuse me, 1960, 59, 58, backwards that direction, I will guarantee you right now it is not original wrapped 
whether it be a bank wrapper or an old wrapper, which um, just so you're aware, an old wrapper basically means something like this. It may have some printing on it, but it doesn't have a bank's name on it. Um, it has the wrapping company that made the wrapper uh, on it. But I will guarantee you right now, if you run across anything from about 1960 or before uh, and it has any type of uh, lines on the end of the wrapper, whether it be a white wrapper, whether it be a craft paper wrapper like this with red lines on it, um, whether it be, uh, you know, have little dots on it like this one does, whatever the case might be. This is not going to be an original wrapped roll. The wrappers with these type of little dots or lines or anything on it were not started to be used until um, probably the late 60s at the earliest. More likely it was probably like the early 70s before you started seeing that being used. Um, so any eBay uh, listing that you see that shows, and there are several of them I can point to in terms of their, I can give names if I need to, but I don't want to necessarily single anybody out, but there are a ton of them out there right now that are listing old original bank wrapped rolls that have lines on the ends of their tubes uh, and their rolls and their wrappers that are not original wrapped. So be very cautious with that. Um, I'll do another series here because I don't want these videos to get too long. This one will probably be closer to the range of about 15 to 18 minutes by the time I'm done. But um, a couple of the other interesting things about wrapping and, uh, and wrapped uh, rolls. This is a 1971P wrapped roll. It has a stamp on it. It does not say that it is bank wrapped because it is not bank wrapped. It was originally wrapped by somebody else, whether it be a Brinks service or a monetary service of some sort. Um, the 1971 P that's stamped on here was stamped by someone else. It was not stamped by the bank. It was not stamped by the uh, Brinks service or anything like that. Brinks service doesn't care what date is in it. They could give a, a hoot less whether it was a 71P or a 75P or a, you know, a 65P, they, they really don't care. They know that it's 50 cents and that's all that they care about. Um, this roll um, is uh, old, what we would call old wrapped. Uh, I can probably place it somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe <coughs> mid 70s to late 70s even though it's a 1971p i'm going to bet that it's probably not originally wrapped from 1971 in this it could be but one of the reasons why i'm saying that it's probably not is um, the wrapper is actually really nice it's really clean the ends of the roll are actually very very clean too uh, and the coins themselves are actually very spotless and clean uh, and that's a long time for a roll of coins to sit around and and not get any uh, discoloration on it whatsoever um, here's a 1974 same thing um, there is something interesting i want to make sure i point out to people um, this wrapper here and the one I was just showing you, you'll notice there's two different ways that these wrappers um, fit together. This wrapper actually has a, a diagonal line where the seam is. Uh, it was wrapped by a particular type of wrapping machine. Um, and this one here is also wrapped by a particular type of wrapping machine. You'll notice that it's got the very distinctive V on it for its wrapping. So the gentleman who actually invented the uh, automatic coin wrapping machine was a gentleman by the last name of Batdorf. Um, and the Batdorf wrapper is uh, pretty much synonymous with uh, wrapping coins or rolls of coins very, very well. It does the absolute best job of any coin wrapping machine out there. Um, and so very large banks, uh, sometimes uh, some of your... Federal Reserve Banks and things like that would do it very rarely, um, though, would Federal Reserve Banks uh, spend the time to wrap coins. They left that to the district banks and stuff like that. Um, 
but the Batdorf wrapper is very, very easy to uh, find uh, when it has, or if you're looking on eBay or anything like that for uh, rolls of coins, if it has this V to it and the ends of the wrapper and the ends of the rolls are incredibly tight to the point where you cannot pinch a wrapped uh, roll, um, that is a sign that it was wrapped with a Batdorf wrapping machine. So as you can tell, this one is not wrapped with that and I can easily pinch this and get this to elongate. I can actually probably, if I really wanted to, pull one of those coins out of there. Um, this is also a Batdorf wrapper. This is a 1970p, uh, as you can see on it. It's a 50 pennies. Um, and you can also tell very, very tightly wrapped, uh, very tightly wrapped ends. Very hard to get at the coins from that standpoint. So a Batdorf wrapper is definitely a unique thing. Some other really interesting rolls of coins that um, were out there. Um, this uh, is a half roll of coins, and this is a very rare, very, very rare half roll of coins. Um, the reason why uh, is mostly because A, it's a Batdorf wrapper. You can see the V groove on it. Um, B, it's a half roll of 1955P uh, coins. And um, C, the reason why this is so rare, uh, this was a national bank that wrapped this. And uh, in 1955, you really wouldn't find a lot of banks that were willing to wrap a half roll of pennies, or, or cents, sorry, um, for their customers, uh, unless you were a really good, really big customer for them. Um, and so uh, to find a half roll of coins that is wrapped by a national bank, um, that is actually wrapped with a Batdorf wrapping machine um, is quite unique and quite rare. I refuse to open this roll even though it may hold a 1955 double die and it's because I like the roll actually better than I probably have a chance of finding a 1955 double die in it. So there you go. Um, I've had several offers for that roll of coins and I refuse to sell it as well. There are other fun little half rolls that you can find that companies uh, gave out. This was one uh, kind of cool one, Golden Nugget. Um, you can find these all over. You can find some from the Pink Flamingo out in uh, Las Vegas as well. The Golden Nugget wrapped coins at one time and gave them out to uh, their patrons. Uh, this was you know, 25 cents uh, worth of uh, coins that they gave out 25 pennies, however. Cool part is um, the type of paper that they used uh, to wrap these coins with, <coughs> excuse me, um, caused the coins to tone quite heavily on the inside of this wrapper. As you can see, um, and the uh, amount of chemicals uh, that were used uh, in the wrapper, in this, this type of a, a craft paper wrapper, um, caused that uh, reaction. Again, federal government and or the banks didn't care whether the coins got toned or not. They were just in it to wrap them, so they were wrapping them with uh, you know, whatever uh, they could wind up uh, wrapping them with. Um, I'm going to open a, one of these coin rolls here just so you guys get a chance to see this real quick and see what uh, some of these hold. Uh, and you know what? Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll open those on another or a second um, installment uh, of this uh, particular uh, subject line uh, so that you guys can tune back in and see me actually open a few of these rolls uh, in front of me. I'm probably not going to open the half rolls just because those are kind of fun little things, but I will open some of the other rolls for you to take a look at. So tune back in uh, on the next installment. Thanks.